when I started to go to, to mutual aid groups, you know, I, I was one of, after I was discharged and became a group member, I would be um, both in the British Doctors and Dentists group and other mutual aid groups, be part of helping with the setting up of the meeting. Back in those days, there was still smoking going on in the, in the, in the groups and, um, you know, so just putting out the ashtrays or serving tea or putting out chairs these were basic duties but they felt useful contributions you know this wasn't me as, as a doctor in a professional setting this was me as the another a fellow recovering person in in a community of people that were recovering so there was this, these two things were important the self-identity of recovering person and the identity of being part of a community of recovering people mm. and then i discovered that outside the mutual aid groups there's also recovery um, communities. We, we, you, you and I really got to know each other properly through Wired In. You know, it was a community of, of for recovering people uh, online. Um, and, you know, I was discovering that there were other things outside of uh, mutual aid and, and treatment that were also part of a recovery, become part of a recovery identity. 